Hi, I'm Miss Hill, and I'm here to say, let's open up book and read today. Books are hip, they're cool, books will help you in school. If you read with me, here's what we'll do. I find reading fun with you. Hi, I'm Miss Hill, and I'm here to say, let's read together every day. Let's talk about kindness and gratitude, written by Julia Emote. Today is a big day for Chloe. She is going on a field trip with her whole class. It is so exciting that all Chloe can think about is the adventure that lies ahead. The class will be visiting a farm with lots of animals, a pond, and a garden with fruits and veggies. But that's not all. They're going to go horseback riding and apple picking too. And at the end, everyone is going to have a big picnic and taste some homemade cheese. Uh-oh, bad news. Chloe's favorite travel toy, Foxy, is missing. She looks everywhere, in the washing machine, next to the cookie cupboard, in the kitchen, by the living room window, and under the stairs. She cannot find him. To make things worse, Chloe's best friend, Charlie, doesn't feel so well today. He has to stay home. All of this has Chloe feeling grumpy and sad. Mom brings Chloe to the bus and kisses her. Mwah! Goodbye. It's so great that you're going on this adventure today. Your teachers must have worked really hard to organize it. Make sure you say thanks to them, okay, Chloe? On the bus, Chloe forgets to say hello to Dean, the bus driver. She finds a seat next to Miss Rice, a kind and cheerful teacher who is also Charlie's mom. Miss Rice is pleased to see Chloe. Chloe, Charlie asked me to give this to you. He is working on making kindness an everyday habit. Then she hands Chloe a shiny yellow boomerang. The best things in life are from the heart and they always come back just like this boomerang will come back to you in the park. How can I be more kind? asks Chloe. There are so many ways you can be kind. It is not always easy, but kindness will always make someone's day better. Let's look for examples right around you. Smile say hello or tell someone that they look good today. You don't even need to know a person to show them kindness. Thanks for helping me with the homework. The painting you made in art class was really cool. What a nice dress you have. Today I want you to watch your classmates during the art trip and notice all the acts of kindness big and small that they perform. Dean, thank you for driving us. You're the best. Your science project yesterday was amazing. I saw you stand up for my friend the other day. That was awesome. Thanks for sharing your snacks. Chloe and her class arrive at the farm. She starts watching her friends to spot their acts of kindness. She sees Brian let Melinda go for a horseback ride first. She sees that Thea made a sketch of the farmer on her tippy toes picking fruit for the kids and now Thea is giving it to her as a present. Frank brings a confused little yellow duckling back to its mom. The others build a bird feeder together. After farming, the class is allowed to pick apples and take them home. Lucy helps little Jane pick fruit off the trees and feed the horses. Joe has dropped his apples in the lake, so Angela gives him half of hers. Kindness is a secret power I can use to make the world more beautiful. Surprise! The entire class is having a picnic to enjoy some homemade cheese and fresh bread, along with delicious fruits and lemonade made from those fruits. I'm grateful to nature for all of its gifts. I will always protect you, nature. I'm grateful to the farmer for their farm-tastic welcome. I'm grateful to my parents for their love because it's bigger than the universe. The kids have had a wonderful time and are feeling grateful. And guess what? The trusty yellow boomerang is right there to help them express it. Let's spread gratitude by saying, I'm grateful to everyone that made us happy today. I'm grateful to my friends for always being there to cheer me on. I'm grateful for the teachers for turning our day into a big adventure. Back home, mom gives Chloe her foxy toy that she found near the window. Chloe shares her memories of the day's trip with mom. My class spread lots of kindness today. 
But what's that? Beep, beep. Sounds like Dad's car. Dad has brought home a new dog from the shelter, a new member of the family, a thankful, happy, wagging tail. This day is worth being thankful for, isn't it? We should always notice good things happening around us and be grateful for them. The next day, Mom and Chloe get busy baking yummy apple pies with the apples they got from the farm. One of them is for someone special. I feel so much better now, and it's all thanks to you. You're so kind. Now tell me everything about the trip. You know what? I realized something. Kindness is a special gift to yourself. The more you share it, the more it comes back to you in unexpected ways. My yellow boomerang of gratitude is a glowing reminder of this beautiful truth. I will make sure to treasure it. The end. And if you buy this book, here are some questions that you can answer with a family, friend, or teacher. I am resilient. I am able to adapt. I am strong. I am resilient. People come in different sizes, different color shapes and names. Although we're different on the outside, inside we are just the same. Press the subscribe button to tune in for the next story time with Miss Hill. Thanks for joining me for today's read aloud. Remember, what makes us all different makes us special. You are so special and so loved. Thanks for joining in and I'll see you next time.